Hello, I'm Simon, this is Benji, that's George, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're an old silver fox like me, welcome back. And today, we're going to talk about a cassette toilet, all about the cassette toilet, so that's today's video. Now then, I hope it's not windy, but you can see the view, let's have a little look. There's the view. I'll show you my cassette toilet. Now then, on mine you push that flap to pull it out, so that's the locking mechanism. Obviously that's how you empty it, turn that, empty it out. On the bottom is a little button, and when you empty it you push that, and it allows air into the, into the can, so it's not glugging when it comes out. And you must make sure that that yellow lines up in a, in a straight line for when it goes in. It slots in in a nice straight line. And that button, don't forget, lets air in. So that's the air. Benji's crying. So turn that, turn the lid off, empty it out. And that lid is a measuring cap for when you put your, your disinfectant in. But I'm changing my disinfectant from that blue stuff. I want to find some eco-friendly stuff rather than what we've been using. Um, so that's the actual cassette. So a little lip there to pull it out. Make sure that these are lined up when it goes in. And that button just lets air into the system so you can empty it easier rather than glugging away. And that's it. And that's, that's the filler on mine. That's where you fill it with water. So you just fill it in there. So you fill it in there with water, and uh, that's it. That's the actual cassette part. Emptying it, if you're going to use loads of chemicals, you, you need uh, a chemical disposal point rather than your own loo or anywhere, because they contain formaldehyde and all kinds of rubbish. I didn't understand any of this. Now I know I'm going to change. Uh, we're going to go a bit more environmentally friendly, but that's another video. I'll tell you all about that and the struggle I'm having uh, turning this van green. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll show you how the toilet works and then you've, you've got the full system then. So don't forget, when you empty it, push that yellow button, turn the lid off and empty it. it, it just flows out nicely. Rather than glugging away, that's what that yellow button's for. And uh, just make sure when you're putting it back everything lines up because your toilet blade will not open unless everything is secure and in place properly. So let's go in and we'll have a look how that works. Now then, so this is the loo. Take my glasses off and I can see. That opens a, a, the, the toilet flap, if you will. So to use this toilet, you pull that flap. Now I'm going to show you this on the GoPro because you'll get a better view. So there's the flap. And that's open. So that's how you use it now. When you're finished, use the flush. But I'll show you that that working if I can get my hand behind it. Right. Yeah. And then you close it. Right, what I wanted to show you was what we use in the loo. So in that what I took out before, the actual cassette itself, this is what you use. Now I bought that from, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I got that from a, a marina, a, a canal marina, so it's what canal boats use, but it's, it says on it, because I'm changing, I want everything to be, uh, maybe a lot better than this to be fair, it says it's septic tank safe, aqua chem green, environmentally conscious fluid for the waste holding tank, which is the cassette, if you will. Um, but anyway, so that's what I've been using at the minute, although I haven't put any in now, because we're changing for all this stuff. Uh, but that's another video, as I said. So, uh, so that's exactly how you use the toilet. That you, you, you can't pull the cassette out if you don't shut the valve. So that little valve that I opened and closed, you can't pull the cassette out really with that open. So you shut that valve, then you can lift the flap and pull your cassette out. And same as putting your cassette in, 
make sure that none of them knobs that I showed you have turned and as long as they're all in a line to go in don't force anything take it just take it easy in and out nice and you know and uh, that's exactly how you use uh, a cassette a cassette loo um, it's the same on my caravan except the obviously the filling is a little bit different you have a nozzle that comes out in the door that you actually pull your cassette toilet out of um, in this van it's just a little bit higher you open it up a little flat and pour it in there now in there you can put some pink stuff uh, it's another uh, Thetford because they call them a Thetford toilet so uh, it's like a pink chemical if you will and it just sort of smells nice in your loo and then the, the aqua blue or this is green in this this case that's the actual tank because you, you does get you know smelly after a while but we don't do a number two in that toilet if you will or we try not to there's plenty of service stations around and supermarkets and everything else to go to you know do a number two if you're out wild camping or whatever we just tend to pee in it overnight and then try and empty it you know wherever we can some you know reasonable either a campsite or wherever some charge their fiver to go to and some won't bother they'll just say yeah you can carry on mate so anyway so that's how, that's how we use our toilet so that's how you use a cassette toilet <laughs> What a rigmarole. Anyway, you won't see all that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, consider subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. If there's anything you need to see on a van, uh, I'll be willing to, to carry it out. And uh, it just gives me something to do. So anyway, and I know all my grandchildren watch my videos. So hello to you lot as well. See you soon.